I'm Declan, and I run Roly Poly Farm in WA with my partner Melissa. Um, we have a half acre intensive market garden, and we've been going for about five months at this point, and accumulating tools very rapidly that we think will help us with efficiency and to create a profitable enterprise. Um, along with a lot of the other small scale tools that are within our price range and are applicable for our growing methods, which is mostly using hand tools and no chemicals, we don't use any pesticides or herbicides. And so our management methods have to be appropriate, effective, cost effective, and they have to make sense for us and they have to save us time and they have to have a positive impact on the ecology around us. Otherwise, well, they don't really fit into our system and they don't really agree with our ethics. Um, and so the flame weeder, which I recently purchased from Mick at Aussie Flame Eaters, is one of the tools we've introduced to our arsenal. Um, we've used a couple of farms we've worked at over east and we really like them for our direct seeded crops because it lets us get a head start on weed pressure, um, especially because at this point we've just opened up new ground and the weed pressure is really high. And so it's important for us to keep ahead on it and hit those weeds when they're very small at the quad leading stage and then we have to do less work and we have better, healthier crops that are more resilient. What do you like about this particular piece of equipment versus others that you've used? Um, one thing I like about it is A, the fact that it's Australian made and that I'm able to actually converse with the person who has constructed it. So I can give them feedback and I know that if a part breaks or if I'm having an issue, I can get a response really quickly. I love working with small scale producers who aren't food producers, who produce tools and effective tools that are simple and that are basically really quite functional and have been well thought out. Um, so that's what I like about this flame weeder. There's very little mechanically that can go wrong. You have very few moving parts and any that are here are easy to fix. Um, one thing I really like about it is the, the end, so where the actual burner is. Um, Mick has given it a slight kink and it makes the flame weeding position much more upright. I found that I'm able to stand a lot more upright, my back doesn't get a sore, which is great because um, there's a lot of positions we put ourselves in as market gardeners that can be negative on your body. Um, I really like the ability to, the nozzle is great and the amount of heat output that you get at quite a low gas usage is amazing. So I've gone through, I've done three rows flame weeded and I've basically gone through no gas noticeably. This was half full when I started and still got a decent amount left. Um, so it seems at this point it seems really quite cost efficient for us. Um, but just under three hundred dollars for the tool, and gas bottle price being near negligible. Um, you know, if we're saving ourselves cultivating by hand for each row, you know that's that's massive, and we're not risking damaging the plants that we've got in the ground if we're timing our flame weeding right. Um, and so it's really quite an invaluable tool when used in the right circumstance for crops such as carrots and used for coriander and used it for beetroot, direct seeded and radishes. So a lot of our high value crops are aided by flame weed. Can one person operate it alone? Yeah, I've, I've played around a bit. Um, I think the best way would be to hook up the flame weeder to a dolly and then have the gas line on a spool 
that you could unwind as you went and then rewind up so it's a little bit safer. Um, but still, it is possible once you, if the gas bottle isn't totally full, it's pretty easy to carry down the bed and it fits nicely in the pathways um, and it's very easy and possible to do with a single person.